Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Tarot Dreamer. So these are the monthly readings for, uh, this is for Sagittarius and it's for June 2023. And uh, just apologise now guys, there is a bit of uh, building noise going on outside but the show must go on. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what June has in store for our lovely Saggies. Okay guys. And if you're new here, I always start with our Lightseer's Tarot deck and clarify with our Finder Sickle Kipper cards. And at the end, we have your angel message along with your yes and no question and your timing question. So keep those in mind for the end. And without further ado, let's see what June has in store for our lovely Sagittarians. Okay, guys first card out is the king of swords make sure these are in focus for you the king of swords there we go mm, the first card out there okay the camera's not playing today like comment and subscribe as well it really helps my channel to grow guys and i really do appreciate it oh cards are going mad wanting to come out now can't tame these cards perhaps it's going to be a wild june for some sagittarians out there and we've got the hierophant card and we've got the lovers reversed okay mm. Don't normally do reversals, but for that one, we will read that. Let's carry on. The chariot card. The death card. And our final card is the three of swords. Wow, Saji. And this one, they are telling me to pull. There's a few more there that they're saying are significant. So we'll deal with those later. The energy on the bottom of the deck is the magician. Okay. They're saying have a look at the bottom of the deck first. So we'll go with that. We've got the six of swords. We've got the hanged man. Okay. And they're saying to put the Six of Swords on the King of Swords and the Hanged Man on the Lovers. Okay. Let's get into your reading. Sagittarius, give me a moment to connect with your cards and make sure everything is in focus for you. And you can focus on your yes and no question and your timing question for the end of the reading. Okay, guys, just give me a minute to have a look. And let's see, it's gone nice and quiet now. Okay. First thing I'm going to say from this reading is someone has failed to make a move here. I'm going to go straight to the lover's card, which is reversed. The lover's card is also a choice card here. And with it being reversed, someone has refused to see a connection. They know that they have a connection with you or you have a connection with somebody here. But they've refused to see it. They've refused or they know, but they've refused to. To make a move. They're literally frozen in time. They're stuck. They have not made a choice. And that has led to a lot of heartbreak here. And it's inner heartbreak. And I feel it's not only for you. It's this other person as well. It's like they're going through some inner turmoil here. Because they haven't made. I've just been told they haven't made the right choice. And it's left them like this, stuck. 
stuck in a rut, stuck in a situation that they don't want to be in. I have a feeling that you are dealing with someone who is the king of swords here. It's an energy. This person you may not be talking to anymore. There could be distance between this person because, as you can see, this person hasn't got anybody else around them here. He's taken himself off, up into the mountains, away from everybody. He's distanced himself here. So there could also be distance between you and somebody else. But this person, there could be a no contact situation. However, with the chariot underneath, this person is going to come forward. They've had some kind of epiphany, some kind of realisation with the Hierophant card here. This person has been doing a lot of soul searching. And they're drawing my attention to the card I'm holding in my hands, which is the Six of Swords, which they asked me to put on the King of Swords. This person has gone through or is prepared to go through something to be with somebody. If you look closely at that card, that person has their bags packed and they're making their way across the stormy waters there. This person is prepared to go through something that isn't going to be easy. To be with somebody that they want to be with. There's something coming to an end here. And there's a new beginning. This could be for you or your person. But there is a lot of heartache here. And there's a lot of stuck energy. It's as if you've been stuck in this situation with this person for forever. And it just hasn't moved. It's almost like stalemate. That you both refuse to talk to each other. Or someone's just not admitting their feelings of how they truly feel. Which has left them with inner turmoil here. Now at the bottom of the deck we had the magician card. Someone is manifesting you. It could be vice versa. Take it how it resonates. You could be manif manifesting this person. But... I have a feeling this person, the King of Swords, is manifesting you to come towards them. I, they just can't do it. They can't do it alone. This is what I'm getting. And they want a happy. They want a happy ever after with you. And here we've got the Ten of Pentacles. And here we've got the Nine of Cups. This is like their wish fulfillment. And I'm going to keep going because it's telling the story here. This person has deep regrets about their past. They feel they've missed an opportunity with you. Because they walked away. And they feel that you've gone cold on them. But they've had a realisation here. They've realised they've made the wrong decision here. Now the Eight of Cups is walking away, but it's not walking away forever. It's walking away normally to do work on yourself. To do work on yourself. But that person sometimes returns because, as you can see in that card, there's a passionate fire still ablaze in that cup that they're walking away from. There's unfinished business here. And it's to do with the past. And it's to do with someone's wish fulfilment. They wish things could have been different. But there's an opportunity here to change things with the magician. So you may have thought that this relationship was over. There is a new beginning here. With the death card underneath the Hierophant card, someone may have to walk away from a commitment that they're already in. They could be in a higher level of commitment. Which is going to come to an end. 
and it's going to come to an end because of this. I'm surprised the tower isn't here. But the lovers in reverse means that either someone made the wrong choice that led to heartache or they failed to make a decision that has still led to heartache and has led to this hanged man. But let's get some clarifiers on this now because this person does seem to want to come forward here even though they know it's going to be a very difficult journey. They could even... Hi guys, I'm back. The phone uh, battery decided to go, but we are back. Okay, so let's carry on with our reading. So as I was saying here, there could be codependent codependency as well with the lover's card uh, being reversed, but also a break in communication here with somebody this person is now just, um, with the hanged man being here, they're almost just letting go and leaving it open to the universe. They're just letting go now. So I have a feeling that you could have been at a distance from this person. There could have been a break in communication with this person here. And this person is now just surrendering to the situation and they're giving in to their feelings which have before been very much hidden in this situation. Okay, let's start clarifying. Let's begin clarifying here and find out a little bit more about this reading because this is quite a heavy reading mentally this is a heavy reading there's a lot of pain here between two people let's clarify the chariot please let's clarify the chariot here straight away that's flipped over so here we have the main male this is someone significant this is the person that you are dealing with here. This person is going to be coming forward or they're going to be making some kind of journey towards you. We have two journey cards here. We've got the Six of Swords and the Chariot card. There's movement. There's going to be progress with this person. Okay, let's find out some more. Can we have a clarifier, please, on the Hierophant? Let's have a clarifier on the Hierophant, please. Okay, clarify on the Hierophant, please. This person is in a commitment with somebody else. This person could be married. They have a family. This is what the problem is, I feel, in this reading. That they are already in a commitment with somebody else, but they could be in love with somebody else. But there's an end in here. They could be walking away from the family home. Clarify three of swords, please. Clarify three of swords, please. Mature man, this person could be older. And the lovers, there we are. And on the bottom of the deck, official person. This is an important person in the community. They're known, they're well known. This could be, an, you know who this is. This is someone that you've had a relationship with, an on-off relationship with, an affair. Lovers. This is a mature person. There could be an age difference here between you. This was a significant relationship in your life, or is a significant relationship in your life. They're with somebody else here. We've got the Three of Swords. It's a third party card. We've got the Lovers above that. This person is going to be making some kind of move. They're manifesting. They're manifesting you back. 
there's been a break here you haven't there's been no contact i think with this person there's a lot of regrets here and a lot of things that were left unsaid because someone went ice cream on somebody and in that time somebody has realized where their heart really lies here okay i'm going to leave it there guys let's move on to your angel messages for june okay guys so your angel messages for june get ready with your yes and no question your timing question and then we'll pull your angel message for june 2023 so your yes and no question there we go this one wanted to come out the answer is yes okay yes your timing question timing questions is take action wow and your angel message for june 2023 is trust trust your gut instinct here sagittarius okay let's have a quick recap you've got to trust your intuition here the answer is yes if you want your wish you've got to take action somebody has got to take action here to move forward with this situation okay guys i hope you've enjoyed your reading and as usual always believe in yourself follow your dreams and stay blessed